What's going on, everybody? It's your boy DC NBA here, and today I'm going to be talking about the timeline of the downfall of Kyrie Irving. Um, and I know what you're thinking about the title. Like, what are you talking about? The downfall, whatever. Um, but yeah, we all know Kyrie. He's been through a lot um, throughout his career. And I'm going to kind of look back more recently at um, more recent stuff, not kind of the stuff that happened like early on in his career. Um, so kind of the last three years, kind of everything that has happened. Hopefully, I got everything. There's been a lot. And I know I missed some things, but I try to get most of the major points. So, without further ado, let's get right into this. Um, so, the first things first. On February 18th, 2017, Kyrie said the earth was flat. And for some reason, this was a huge deal. Everyone made a big thing about it. And this was kind of like the first... Sidori of his, I guess you could say, that kind of went super viral and kind of got him super like in the media, a lot of media attention from this, um, for sure. Um, and then kind of the next thing we're gonna talk about is that Kyrie went multiple days without talking to his Cavalier teammates. Um, and then after on July 21st, 2017. He requested a trade from the Cavs. And don't get me wrong, I completely understand why he wanted to get traded from the Cavs. Um, there's been a lot of, there's a one video of uh, the reporter asking Le uh, Kyrie if like LeBron was a father figure. Completely understand why he kind of just didn't want to be in LeBron's shadows anymore. Um, and I get it. I'm not going to really blame him too much for wanting a trade or anything. But what I do want to talk about is how he just went multiple days without talking to his teammates. Like, you can't do that. I'm sorry. Like, as for, as a professional, you need to, you know, have at least decent communications with your um, um, co-workers and, in that case, teammates. Um, so, yeah, the next thing. He got traded August 22nd, uh, 2017, to the Celtics, as we all know, for Isaiah Thomas, Jay Crowder, um, and what will be um, Colin Sexton. Um, and there was someone else, Ate Zizic. I remember that for some reason. I don't I don't know why. Um, but he got traded. Um, and I remember everyone was super hyped for him on the Celtics. Um, everyone was really sad about IT um, getting traded. Um in the end, it was kind of a win, was it, like, a win-win for each team? Was it a lose-lose for each team? I don't really know. I, I may make a video about that and talk about how that trade actually affected both teams. Okay, um, so next thing, um, it's June, uh, uh, June 12th, 2018, and Kyrie Irving shoots down a potential contract extension from the Celtics. And, um, on this, I think Kyrie only had one year left on his deal. Um, so they're trying to lock him up, but he obviously said no, um, to that. And that was kind of the first concern, um, for the resigning of Kyrie. Then on October 14th, 2018, um, Irving pledged his loyalty to the Celtics said he will return um said that things you know were going great in Boston and that you know he wanted to stay obviously they weren't um and yeah and then kind of things don't go so well during the beginning of the um 20 what what season was this 2018 2019 season um and then Kyrie kind of blames um, the young core and stuff. Um, I have these tweets from my boy um, Keith Smith that say Kyrie Irving had a lot to say post game, but what stood out was quote the young talent, the young guys don't know what it takes to be a championship level team, what it takes every day, and if you think it is hard now, what do you think it's going to be like when we're trying to get to the finals? end quote um Kyrie continued with quote 
there were no expectations last year everyone played free and easy everyone surpassed whatever they expected for themselves this year we all have high expectations the players the coaches everyone and that's good but we aren't doing it yet end quote Kyrie ended with quote we can get there we've got to be better I've got to be better we need to win these games on the road that's on me as a leader I need to be a better leader and need to get us there end quote and kind of what this shows is that Kyrie did put some of the blame on him obviously from the last um one that you know he does need to be a better leader but for the most part he was just kind of blaming um the players saying that you know they don't know what they're doing which was fair because they have never been to the finals but they went to the eastern conference finals without him which we'll get into the whole his whole re- run with boston after a whole recap like his stay with boston um but yeah um they got really far in the playoffs without him and obviously they did ex- exceed expectations without him there but it was just kind of more or less um like what does this show from him and his loyalty to the team because obviously it didn't seem like he really has any faith in this team to be there and as the next part we get into february 1st 2019 he uh he was asked what do you think uh do you think you're gonna resign with the team he said ask me july 1st not a good sign um this kind of showed that he just really was not committed to this team he really just did not want to be there i feel like that showed and there was a little hope people would be like oh well you know he might resign you know things are just kind of rough right now but guess what he didn't um so basically his whole rerun with the celtics he missed over a quarter game of he missed over a quarter of the games that he could have been in um he missed the whole playoff stretch of the 17-18 season and then the next year in the playoffs 18-19 he played horrible he averaged like 21 points on 38 percent shooting from the field um not good obviously um he caused chemistry issues with the whole team and kind of ruined their um real chance of doing anything special that season so yeah basically Kyrie, not the guy um for the celtics but then on june 30th 2019 he signed a four-year 100 um 36 million dollar contract with the brooklyn necks um who also signed who they signed kevin durant that season uh off season uh they signed deandre jordan and then they signed like garrett temple i don't know why i had to throw that in there but i just felt like it was right um so yeah um katie and Kyrie went to the nets everyone was very excited not for that season but for the season um after when katie returned um a lot of people were really concerned that Kyrie might get too adjusted to being the only guy on the team blah 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 and you know he could not be that because when we get into our next thing um he was injured um he injured his shoulder twice um and he only played 20 games in the first season um for the nets um the nets did go on to make the playoffs and players like spencer Dinwiddie's and karis lever and joe harris um kind of shined in their new roles um but yeah um Kyrie was injured a lot and people still had high expectations for the next season um but yeah that season was kind of a wash for them no real opportunity there um and the next thing we'll get into is how during the nba bubble Kyrie kind of got flamed um for saying that you know we don't really need basketball and we should just focus on the issues and that basketball will just be a distraction which honestly i completely agree with um it took away focus from the problems of social justice going on and it honestly did not help bring light to that obviously they did put like the black lives matters 
on the court and they put um, custom jerseys. Um, but again, if the top story of the news is going to be LeBron scored 35 instead of a protest or something that was happening, you know, so realistically, this was probably the one thing Kyrie got right during this whole this whole video. Um, so you know, um, after the long off season, um, not seeing him for like almost a year, um, Kyrie then goes and tells reporters on December eleventh, twenty twenty, I don't talk to pawns, and he does not talk to any reporters or anyone during the NBA media week. Um, yeah. Not a good sign. Um, don't get me wrong. I completely understand his side with this. Talking to the media every game probably gets super annoying. Is it needed? Not at all, honestly. Um, but, again, at the end of the day, everyone else does it. Just do your job, kind of get it done. I feel like, I don't know, I feel like that would be a lot easier. Um, and then, recently, over the last week or so, Kyrie was out, um, he's been out for a couple of games, and the reason, um, have been personal, and when he was asked, um, apparently, he said, I just don't want to, um, uh, a lot of people are just saying that this, um, is like him taking a day off and stuff, and just for his mental, um, wellness, and don't get me wrong, I completely understand that, but if it was just one game, I could get that rest up, but it's been multiple games, and also he has reportedly um, been seen at multiple birthday parties uh, with no mask on, because I think his sister and his father's birthday are this uh, week, so I think that's really realistically the reason he took off to go party with his family. Which um, is not a good sign, kind of more or less for the NBA, because if a birthday party is a reason you are off um, work, not a good sign. I don't know. Um, personally, there's a lot of things that I think Kyrie has done not professionally, have done wrong, and honestly... I don't hate him. I think he's probably a fantastic person. But at the end of the day, after all this coming out, um, you, I don't, I'm not really sure about if I would want him on my team for sure because he just cause he's gonna cause so many questions, um, and then it's just not doesn't seem like it's gonna be worth it. Obviously, he's one of the probably top 15 players in the league I don't, I don't really know where he would rank this season he's been pretty good in the games he has played but again he needs to be available for the said games um but yeah that's kind of the timeline of everything that happened with Kyrie Irving um if you guys enjoy please make sure you like comment and subscribe um I got a new mic and I got a new computer so Hopefully you guys saw some improvement. I'm still trying to learn uh, Photoshop in Sony Vegas. So the videos aren't going to be fantastic. But they'll slowly get better. I'm, I'm expecting big things. Um, but yeah, no, the grind uh, for 5K by the end of the year is real. I'm going to be trying to post as much as I can. I'm also going to be trying to post my Instagram and TikTok. That will be in the description below. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Have a good day.